God, this is a full blown blizzard here. I finally made it. It was a very long drive to get here, a whole hour. I am very close to home, but I got this room for the next two days for a, I hope, very good reason. That is the weather forecast for tomorrow. For here, I has somewhere between five and eight inches of snow. I has more for the next day. So that's why I'm here. I'm hoping to get some snow finally. So instead of driving my two-wheel drive car with summer tires in the snow, I decided to uh, come here the day before. I don't know this place that well. This is a ski resort and I haven't been here in years. So I'm gonna go on a quick walk slash hike to do some scouting and try to find some compositions or images that could work tomorrow in the snow. So let's do that. So this is the uh, very top of the mountain. It's at some 1800 meters high or around 5,500 feet. And uh, the view is nice, but there's not much here. This spot is gonna look very different uh, just in a few hours once the uh, snow starts to fall. And I can already see some rain in the distance. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it up here tomorrow in the middle of the storm. It depends on how how strong it is uh, on the winds and if there is uh, thunderstorms and stuff like that. There are some buildings there uh, servicing the, uh, the lift, the ski lift. Uh, some of them are abandoned, so that could look very cool in the middle of a storm uh, and uh, you know, covered in snow or something like that. All right, so I think I found a few potential good images for tomorrow. I just need the right conditions. This is one of them, that tree back there, because there is not enough contrast. But tomorrow, if that hill in the background is white and covering snow, it should provide that contrast that we are lasting uh, right now. Also, on the other side, we have cows. There are more cows down there. That could be cool. And I will definitely, definitely be taking photos of the uh, building where I'm staying because I really love the windows and the uh, round uh, corners. I think that there is a lot of potential right there. So I'm gonna call it a day. It's very cold and I want to save all the energy for tomorrow. I'm gonna go back to the hotel now, charge all my batteries, get some rest and be ready for tomorrow.
this is beautiful. I mean, there is not as much snow as I was expecting, as I was hoping for. It looks like it didn't snow as much overnight. It's just snowing now. And the problem with that is that the temperatures are going uh, up and uh, this snow is kind of turning into sleet and kind of water. So far I've been photographing things like the apartment building or this sign right here, like mundane uh, things, but in these conditions, uh, in my opinion, they look pretty amazing because they are kind of out of place. I'm gonna keep looking for more of that stuff, but I'm also gonna start heading uh, up to the top of the uh, mountain to see if I can find more snow there and maybe photograph more nature scenes and maybe hopefully some trees and maybe the cows that, that I saw uh, yesterday. But so far, this is pretty amazing. I'm using this uh, plastic bag that I got from the grocery store yesterday because I'm using the plastic bag that I usually use uh, for uh, on my video camera. Both cameras are protected and I can, you know, have a little bit of peace of mind shooting in these conditions. I know that they are going to stay more or less dry for the most part. So I can just focus on the, making the images and recording the videos. Looks like it's snowing harder now. This is pretty awesome. Let's keep going and let's uh, look for more images. Switching lenses is a risky move in these conditions. So that's why I use a, a zoom lenses. This is the, my 28 to 200. So that is a, that should work for most of my shots, but uh, I found an image here uh, uh, for which I need the uh, wide-angle lens. So I'm gonna try to switch them really quick and being very careful. I'm always, uh, you know, giving my back to the to the wind. Well, it's not even snowing anymore and we have some clear blue skies uh, back there. It's getting warmer too, so this snow is not gonna stay on the ground for too long, I'm afraid. It's gonna snow later again, according to the forecast, so I still have hopes to make more images. But anyway, I'm here by this tree. We talk about this tree, we saw this tree yesterday and I was uh, saying that today would be a better time to photograph it because there would be more contrast between the, the shape of the tree and the background. Now it's white and there is more contrast. Still not enough, uh, especially on the top of the tree, but I hope uh, this uh, proves that I, that's not the right word. The, the point that I'm trying to make here is that there is no wrong subject, there is only wrong timing. It is true that some subjects, some locations, some scenes will never work no matter what, but in many cases it's just a matter of being there at the right time. That's why I like to think that I don't travel to a location, I travel to a time. This is why I'm here today. I'm not here because I wanted to photograph this location, because there was something here that I wanted to see or capture. I'm here because of the conditions, because of the weather, because of the snow. As I've said before, this was a shift in my photography that has been happening over time. It took me a while to realize what is that really moves and touches me. It's not so much uh, about going to places, it's not so much about uh, photographing something, but it's about photographing a moment, photographing special conditions where magic happens. That could be a good sunrise, a good sunset, but uh, lately it's also about those foggy mornings, uh, the uh, winter storms with snow, a full moon, night photography, stuff like that.
So the road is mostly wet by now, so I could have done this with my uh, two-wheel drive car with the summer tires. But, you know, walking makes it more interesting and you never know if more snow is coming or, or how it is up there. It might be more icy. I'm halfway up there, maybe a couple miles left. I have seen no images on the way, but it's still totally worth it. The experience is totally worth it. All right, so there is uh, definitely much more snow up uh, here. So good thing I didn't bring the car. This would have been no problem whatsoever for hairball, but it is. Uh, it would have been way too much for Garu. Uh, I was here yesterday. You may remember this was the parking lot where I parked. Uh, there are two rocks there. I'm gonna try to make images of those rocks. I'm gonna try to uh, make images of the uh, building that is abandoned or at least partially partially abandoned then i'm gonna go to the top and maybe try to uh, to see uh, to find images that uh, i missed yesterday because the conditions are totally different the clouds are running in too so every once in a while we get some fog and that goes very well with snow i just need to find something to photograph now So I was focusing on the big rocks and the big buildings, but actually I think I found the best composition so far here, a little bit to the side, with that smaller rock and the, the smaller section of the building. I really like how, the, uh, how everything fits together with the rock in between the two windows of the building and with that snow in front of the rock. And now it looks like a cloud is falling in, so that might improve even more the photo, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it again. Okay, it got really foggy now, so you know what I say when it's foggy, get as close as possible to the subject, so I'm gonna get closer to that rock because it's, uh, it's uh, getting affected by the fog too, so it's not as clear as it was in previous photos, so I'll be right back. And it's gone, is the problem with this kind of fog that the clouds rolling out very fast. Okay, so I switched to the wide angle lens, a wide shot, a wider shot also works here very well. I like the composition of the rock on the left. The rock on the left, the building smaller on the right, the problem of the wide angle lens. In these conditions, of course, it is very clear now. I'm hoping to get another cloud, but uh, as of right now, uh, I'm capturing a lot more of the background, of course, because I'm using a wider lens. And I, um, I'm getting uh, parts of the ski lift on the left of the frame. If I don't get a, a cloud or some fog uh, while I'm here, well, I'll try to remove that with a Lyrum or Photoshop because it adds nothing to the image. In fact, it ruins an otherwise very nice composition. I can't take this same photo, this same composition from a different angle. I have to include that ski lift there in the, in the background if I wanna you know, keep that uh, shape of the rock kind of uh, uh, accommodating the building on the right. I really like it. Hopefully nature conspires in my favor. If not technology, hopefully will do it for me. And if not, well, it doesn't work.
I saw this uh, image yesterday, but of course it looks much, much better now with the snow. So I've been playing with two possible compositions. I think I have my favorite, but uh, one of them is uh, uh, placing the building not in the middle of the frame, but almost, and the other one is placing it closer to the top and showing more of the foreground, more of the snow uh, in the foreground. I think that's my favorite. And it's a composition that I, 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 used to, I, I like to use a lot because it gives the subject more power and it makes it uh, the, the dominant force in the frame, in the image. And I, I like it for certain subjects at least. And uh, I think in this case, that works uh, better. This is so cool. I'm totally obsessed with signs in the uh, fog and the uh, snow. I know, I, I love it. And uh, it might sound silly and you might be thinking to yourself, hey, where I live, I get those conditions. I get stop signs and traffic lights and whatever in snow for three or four months a year. Uh, and you're right, uh, there is nothing special to this. Well, there is because most people don't get those conditions. Where I grew up, we did not get this kind of snow. And maybe that's why all of this stuff catches my eye so much, why it makes me wonder, why it makes me want to photograph uh, these kind of uh, scenes. In my hometown, we do have fog. And, uh, it wasn't until I left the country, I, I lived in another country for a few years, and until I picked up photography and came back, that I really appreciated that. Over time, we become numb to what we have around us, but uh, really, we need to start looking at those things uh, in a different light, because uh, uh, we might be missing out on a very good uh, images and very good experiences. I'm gonna take a break here. This uh, corner is a little bit more protected from the wind. It is uh, very, very cold and uh, when I say taking a break, I mean from, you know, carrying the backpack. It's, uh, it's uh, 11.30, so I've been out for four hours already and walking quite a lot. So yeah, I made a, I made a big mistake, a mistake that I keep making. I, I'll keep making forever and ever. I, uh, I didn't bring any water or food. It's not a big deal because I'm very close to the hotel, so it's not like I'm gonna starve or uh, die of thirst or anything like that. But it would make me a little bit more comfortable right now. I'm a little bit hungry, so hopefully that doesn't shorten uh, the uh, time that I can be out here. We got some fog, so I'm running because I want to try that shot from before of the rock and the building, because now the ski lift is pretty much gone. Ah. Okay, this is it. I have to switch lenses, I don't have much time. This cloud is gonna go away at any moment. It looks beautiful, as I said. The ski lift now is gone. Yes, yes, so much better. I'm gonna try to take the other one too from farther away now with the fog.
This is absolutely gorgeous, so beautiful. Whoa. So, I'm back, it's been uh, more than seven hours out there, I walked quite a lot, 10 miles, which is not bad, especially carrying all that weight, but yeah, a very good day, one of those days that fills your soul, I feel very good, I feel very happy, I feel very relaxed, I hope, I hope, I hope. I get another opportunity to feel the same way tomorrow. I don't know if you'll be able to hear anything I say, but you remember the tree from the first day that didn't really work because there was not enough contrast and yesterday it was better but still not quite working. Well, today finally got the conditions. Look at that, it's beautiful. All right. Let's see how, how I can manage to switch lenses in these conditions. Yes, yeah. it's getting worse and worse by the minute. And again, no, not gonna complain because this is absolutely beautiful. But uh, it is hard to do everything here, filming, switching lenses, taking photos, and you know, trying not to kill myself either because the conditions are not the best. <laughs> I 
seen a few cars that look even less prepared than mine to be driving in these conditions and they were struggling quite a lot to get up this hill that is why I didn't want to do it myself that's why I, I stay here for the last two nights to be here at this moment in the middle of a blizzard and to do it in a relatively safe way This is so beautiful, this is totally, so totally unexpected. They had a snow for this morning, but not like this. This is crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave today at all. I can't drive from these roads. Ooh. Right, that was uh, something, wasn't it? Uh, it's time to assess damages. It was all fun until I dropped my video camera. But uh, I've decided to uh, to bring my gear here to the car instead of going upstairs to the uh, apartment because it's uh, because everything is very cold and wet. And up there, uh, it could be uh, the condensation could could hurt it. It's uh, it's still uh, fogging up a little bit here too, but not as much as uh, as it would have up there. But what the uh, what is all this? Where did this come from? Yesterday was supposed to be the uh, the, the snowy day, not today. Yeah, no, still snowing. So. Yeah, uh, I am trapped here for the time being. That being said, I have to check out in one hour, so I'm gonna go upstairs, maybe have another coffee, warm myself up a little bit, pack, and then bring everything here. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, take more photos around here until I can actually leave.
see the road looks much better so I'm hoping to uh, to leave in the next 9 or 30, 60 minutes and who knows I might be able to find other images on the way because here I feel like I've already photographed everything I could find I'm back in the car. What a couple of days I had up here at the end of April with tons of snow, a lot of wind, cold, a proper winter adventure. Just when I thought that winter was over and that I was not going to get any snow this year. Well, I have no idea how the images are going to turn out. I think a couple of them should be pretty good. But the point here, the point I'm of uh, making this uh, trip here, the point of making this video is about not care too much about the location, about going to a place that is really beautiful. I mean, this is a ski resort. It's not ugly per se, but there is really nothing here. But it's the conditions. It is the snow. It is this blizzard that we had that made it so magical and so cool to photograph. Anyway, it's time to head back home. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was entertaining. I had a lot of fun making it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. All right, one more chance to take photos. You haven't forgotten the cows, right? We saw them a couple days ago and I didn't see them since then, but I found them. They are here and it looks beautiful. Hopefully I can get close enough and take a photo of them with some of those rocks in the background. Let's do it.